Ross Lynch became notorious in 2011, starring in the Disney Channel show Austin and Ally. He was only 16 when he began playing the role of Austin Moon and he managed to showcase his multiple talents in acting, dancing and singing. He even starred in the popular Disney Channel original movie, Teen Beach Movie, that he even had a sequel, Teen Beach 2. Ross Lynch comes from a very creative family. In 2009, he formed a band called R5 with his siblings, Rocky, Riker and Rydell, and a family friend, Ellington Ratliff. Through the popularity that Ross gained with Disney, the band got a record deal with Hollywood Records and quickly began touring the world, all leading to the release of their first album, Louder. Louder is a nice album, but you can totally tell that it wasn't written by the band, but by a team of writers whose only job was to create as many hit songs as they could. The album was followed up by a second record, sometime last night. Now, this is a great album. Apparently the band already had an album written by a team of writers ready for release, but they chose to scrap it out to create their own record. During this time, the band chose to move in together, something that made them even closer as friends and as a band. They wrote most of the songs from their second album sometime last night in their garage, with Rocky, the guitarist of the band, producing most of the tracks and the other members working on the lyrics and melodies of the tracks. The Sometime Last Night album did really well, so the band went on a world tour, and during this world tour, the Disney show Austin and Ali officially came to an end. With that, Ross ended his Disney days. He says that he's super proud of the work he's done at Disney and that it opened so many doors for him, so he's very grateful for the opportunities that he was given. After leaving Disney, Ross chose to focus a lot more on music, but he starred in a couple of independent movies like Status Update and My Friend Dahmer. This last one in particular showed Ross's acting skills. He portrayed the role of serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer and I personally think his performance was flawless. With this movie, he managed to shake off the Disney image that he had and people started taking him a lot more seriously. But going back to the music, the band R5 came back in 2017 with their fully self-produced EP, New Addictions. This EP is great, but I think it was just weird to see them release this. People were expecting an album and instead got four new songs and a cover of Need You Tonight. Many people thought it was going to be followed up by a full album, but instead, after the last world tour, the band decided to split. Ross and his brother Rocky formed a duo called The Driver Era, where they get to explore their experimental tendencies a lot more. The Driver Era is an independent band that isn't really defined by one genre. Their music is filled with many things, bringing together the classic type sound and the latest trends in pop music. Soon after forming The Driver Era, Ross Lynch was cast in a Netflix show, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, something that added a lot more credibility to his acting career since he was always linked to the Disney image that he had. And Many people seem to think that Ross isn't a great actor because he was on Disney, but I think that's something that doesn't really make sense. Being on Disney doesn't mean that you're not great. Ross's performances on Austin and Ellie and on Teen Beach Movie were pretty amazing considering that he was just 17, and he showed a lot of potential as an actor and a musician. In June 2018, The Driver Era released their first album, X. This album is truly a journey since every song is different and you get to appreciate Ross and Rocky's musical skills in different genres, even though everything seems to be connected by a thread. After the chilling adventures of Sabrina came to an end with their fourth season, Ross got back to working on the Driver Era's new music. They started releasing a couple of singles in 2020 that will eventually lead into the release of their new album, Girlfriend, an album that is coming out October 15th. I'm really curious to listen to it and when it comes out, I'll make sure to give you guys my unsolicited opinion on it. In the meantime, I highly suggest that you take a listen to their latest singles, Have an Angel and Number One Fan. I promise you won't regret it. I think that Ross Lynch has the potential to become one of the most important actors and musicians of our generation, but truth is, he feels a bit stuck right now. It's like he's not truly evolving and that's a shame. I would love to see him experiment more. So, this was a little recap of Ross Lynch's journey so far. Let me know what you guys think about Ross Lynch, R5 and the Driver Era in the comments. And also, if you want to and enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out my other music reviews in this playlist and to subscribe to this channel for more. Thank you, bye!